What's up guys, it's Alvin Anthony. Welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. In today's video, we are going to see the magic results of paintless dent repair. Alright guys, so right now we're on our way to meet up with Eric at CarMedic. Eric has been my go-to guy for all of my PDR needs for the last several years and is an absolute wizard at making dents and dings disappear. Now if you were to ask me three months ago whether or not I would ever get PDR done on the Civic, I probably would have laughed. However, with the Civic getting cleaner by the week, I think PDR is a necessary step at removing the dents and dings without having to get any paintwork done. Now how this works is that they drill into inconspicuous areas on the car or wedge tools into areas to come in from the back side of a dent. Now for reference, I have tried to do my own PDR using a hammer pull and I had horrible results. I did it on this car and while some of the results were okay, they were nowhere near perfect and that's where a skilled technician such as Eric can really get that to where you had no idea it was ever there. Now for a lot of technicians, PDR is proprietary. So Eric did grant me access to be able to film some of this work, but he won't let me film everything because some of the things are proprietary to his techniques and tricks to be able to remove dents and dings and he doesn't want the whole world to know. So I am going to be giving you guys, of course, the before and the after and filming what I can in between. Now, to be honest, there are hundreds of dents and dings on the Civic. There really is. You guys may not be able to tell from videos, but there is a ton. And as you know, I'm a very uh, picky and particular person. So I'm not trying to go for perfect, but I am trying to remove the major dents and dings that do affect the body lines of the car. Sometimes when I'm taking pictures or video, they can be a huge eyesore. And I always think, hey, I hate seeing that ding there and I want that gone. So Eric is gonna be performing some magic today and making those disappear or making those much more shallow to where my eye can't catch them. So with that said, we are almost there. So I'll introduce you guys to Eric and show you guys what exactly we are going to tackle on the Civic. See you in a minute. All right, so fortunately for me, Eric was in my area around my work and he was able to meet me at my actual work. So uh, he's mobile, he is in a van, so he's able to do this kind of on the fly. Um, so he is, should be, actually he's right there. What up, dude? What's going on, man? Oh, good yeah. to see you. I haven't nice seen you. Again. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, a which, minute, which, minute. which is a good thing, right? It means I haven't been getting dents or dings. Absolutely. But well, then I got this, and then this is a little it's, bit more. It's a Kruger Evo. That yeah, was the last one. Yeah, and now, uh, now we got this right now. And yeah. so I think you'll have your work cut out for you. But we're trying to set some realistic expectations okay. for uh, kind of what's going on here. So, fifteen hundred dollar car. Okay. Right, just keep that <laughs> keep that in mind. Fifteen hundred dollar car, but the idea that you know I've been bringing everybody along watching here is that we're just trying to improve the overall look of the car, and I've been doing that pretty much weekly with coming out with uh, different videos, how to improve certain things, and how to obviously transform a car. At this point, the dents and dings are starting to get to me. I never thought they would, and now we're at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm taking video, I'm taking pictures, and I can see these death dings that used to not bother me, and now they do, and so. Uh, you want me to kind of point some of these things out to show you what we're... I see the obvious one right Okay, there. yeah. Okay. No, there's there's a couple right okay. off the bat here. And so I don't know if you guys can see on camera here, but there is, uh, that's quite the death ding right there. I, I, what do you call them when they just somebody opens your door without any care in the world yeah, and just... Yeah, just a, an obvious door ding. That yeah. one's obviously what we call a sharper dent. So okay. So that's a sharp dent. So yeah, I mean, that's... Near the body line, on the body line. Um, you see a little bit of a crease down here. Yeah. A bit of a crease down there. Oh, how, so how would how would you think that would happen? You know, lid down the panel, you know, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Versus if it was vertical, that's more of a, a door dinging it vertically. Yeah. If this is more of something that hits you and kind of slid down the panel. That's kind of how it creased. Gotcha. Okay. Um, these kind of generally happen when something drops into the car, whether there's been like a heavy object, a yeah. shovel, a trash can. But I mean, that's, you know, something like that. Like the, that, or like the point, like if like, somebody was in a truck and they had like a, like the, the, exactly. the tip, the tip on the bottom. That could have happened, yep. There. And that yeah, just sucks because it's just right on the yeah. right on the body line, dude. And that's, you know, those, those are the worst because it changes the way 
the car, in, in my opinion, it changes the way the car looks. And oh, yeah. so um, I think a lot of people still don't know what PDR is. I think a lot of people, when they get like a ding or a dent, they assume that that's just a trip to the body shop and it yep. needs to be resprayed. But when they do it, they are either going to drill it and then pull it, or they're going to fill it with Bondo yep. and then go over it. Whereas you are just manipulating what the metal that's already there. Absolutely. So essentially what we do is we get behind the panel, whether it be pulling door panels off, um, going through wheel wells, I mean, pulling tail lights out. Yeah. We find a way to get in the panel and basically we're massaging that dent from the backside out. Okay. So if you can imagine me going behind that panel with, with a special rod that we have, I'm gonna find that dent from the backside and I'm gonna massage it out slowly until it's back to its original form. That's, that's I know that's that's crazy. I think that's just it's insane. I tried to attempt this myself and had just the worst luck. I had one of those hammer pull with the glue. Stuff you see on Instagram. It, 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 yeah, dude, yeah. and it was like the worst because I'm like sitting here like the glue's falling off, it's breaking off, the yep. things are getting stuck on there, and I'm sitting here like holy crap, I have to pry that thing off, yep. and that kind of scares me. But well, um, and, and to be honest, with you, a lot of that stuff, um, like I have similar kits, and a lot yeah. of that stuff is an actual legit kit. Okay. But it's useless if you don't know how to use it. Okay. That's what yep. it comes down to. I mean, I'm kind of offended, but yeah. I'll, <laughs> but okay, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, but it's, 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 you're right. You're absolutely and, right. You know, it's like if I went to a doctor's office and I started playing with all those tools. Yeah. I'm sure that tool costs ten thousand dollars in his yeah. in his book, but I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So it's useless to me. Yeah. Uh, the major problem areas are the rear quarters, yeah. um, and. I mean, there's there's things everywhere, and I've, tell, I've told these guys that there's literally hundreds of things on this car and imperfections, and I'm not trying to go for, for perfect. I'm just trying to get it to where it's better, it's less noticeable. Yeah, it's a good I think it's come a long way, and I think it's been fun just kind of documenting the process and doing a little bit of everything. So, um, I did, I did, so I did, so yeah, so it, it is polished, yeah. it is all of that. I do want to repolish it, I do want to go over all of it, so. Um, like that'll probably be like in a future video or right. something like that. The game plan right now, I'm gonna get some before shots of these dings to show people kind of what we're working with here. Um, so like, you know, especially the major ones and then sh obviously showing the afters um, and then in between whatever I can film, you know, I know you said a lot of the stuff's proprietary so I don't want to film everything and I'm just going to just, just small tidbits here and there. Is that, is that cool? I'm fine with that, man. All right, cool. All right, so let's get some before shots and get started. Quick update, dude. So what's going on? Just finished up this quarter panel. Okay. Um, so we had some racing issues. That's kind of what we talked about. You said there were maybe a yeah. race in there. I definitely hit it. So other than that, it, everything came out great. Well, it looks awesome. I, I can already see those a couple of those death dings already taken yeah. out. And so, uh, and then you even got this one up here, which I know you think said this one was the hard one to get to. That was the hardest one to get to, mainly because it wasn't just the dent itself; it was the access. And so, basically, we yeah. had to just try to pull this panel off. Sneak into there. Um, well, because in my previous video where I was actually replacing these panels at the junkyard, I sh people could see that there is bracing on the okay. inside of that. Okay. And so when I was uh, disassembling everything, I was surprised to see as much bracing as there was. And there was also that weird seatbelt bracket, okay. which, dude, that thing has got to be like half inch steel or something. It is, it is so thick and it covers that whole 
lower area right there. You know, I mean, a lot of the older cars, you know, the, the Mitsubishi Eclipses, you know, just the Civics, Acuras, all these, you know, two-door cars, for some reason, yeah. this, this section is like just a nightmare to get to. Okay. Um, and this well, is it's, one of them, it's good, so. it's good to know for people watching. <laughs> if, you, if you have a Civic like mine, then you might uh, run into some struggles if you attempt to DIY this, or at least let your PDR tech, wherever you're watching this, know before uh, he jumps into this, because yeah, dude, I can, I can, I can, I can imagine how much of a struggle this is. But we pop this rear tail light off here to come in through one ding right here, right? And we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. Yep. And so we'll continue to keep working. So, uh, all right, guys, let's get back at it. <laughs> Hi guys, so quick update. Eric is just finishing up with his quarter. He still has one little dent left to do, but dude, you made that death ding so much better. So you guys saw this one. This one was so bad. It was very, it, very, very, very And you said that it was sharp and it was just completely stretched. It was sharp, stretched, um, and my axis is not the greatest. But okay. Either way, even if it was the greatest in the world, when it's sharp and stretched like that, they only come out looking so good. Yeah, and, and then so, there's a risk of chipping the paint too exactly. because you're trying too hard. Yep. And then at that point, now you're touching up that paint and I'd rather have it be a lot more shallow and a lot less noticeable because what he's done here is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that dent was pulled up into this body line to where basically the dent was in the body line. Right, and right. so right when you look down this line, that's the first thing you would see. Now it's sitting below that body line and it's a lot less noticeable. It'll be a lot nicer, I think, just having a nice flat Absolutely. panel and then uh, down the road, once I repolish this and get it coated again, um, it'll be it'll be a lot glossier and it'll look a lot better not having those weird those divots sorts. and yeah, <laughs> and, and seeing those things every single damn time. So, all right guys, I'm gonna let him continue and I'll follow up with you guys once he's done. All right, dude, I heard you stop hammering. So does that mean you're done? Just finished up. Dude, hell yeah. So taking a look, Dude, this looks so much better. <laughs> this looks so much better. And I think it's hard for people to see on camera, but like what I see every single day was dent, 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 ripple, 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 ripple. And it's all over the whole thing. And where I'm okay with the, the, the occasional dent, maybe like here, or here, or here, or wherever. But when they're all concentrated, it completely just killed that panel for me. And it just happened to be on this recorder and that recorder. I'm sure that this car was probably parked in a parking garage or something because there isn't, you know, the way that the paint is, you can't see any clear coat damage or anything like that. So I assume the car was garage for most of its life. And I assume that it probably was a friend of parking garages due to the lack of fading. But because of that, I wound yeah, up with a bunch of dings. Overall, the car's in really good shape. So then on this quarter over here, the major dent, the major, the, like the death ding that we had right, was yeah. right here. Yep. And as you guys can see, that is so much more shallow than what that was. This thing, this thing was like all the way in. Yeah, it was it was a good punch, just a sharp punch. You know yeah. what I mean? So a, de I mean, a, a it, death it, day. <laughs> it didn't come out perfect, but you know, it's well, one of those where it looks a heck of a lot better. It's perfect. off the body line. Yeah. Like I from right here I can't I can't see that, right? Yeah. But it was something that I could see. Oh, yeah. I could stand right here, I could stand thirty feet that way and I'd look and I'd say, Oh, there it is. It was, it was, I know a lot of people are probably like looking. They're like, Anthony, you do, you're gonna repaint your door. Yeah, that's still something I have to do. You don't do mobile. You don't do mobile painting I yet, don't, don't right? Know. But I do know a guy that is gonna be respraying this door for me, and that'll be all blended in and look so much better. Um, really, I just wanted to keep this OEM paint back here because it's in good shape. There's no clear coat failure. Um, it's in still glossy, it's still shiny. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is polish over it and then recoat that area. And then I still gotta get a new rear bumper and figure out something to do for that. Give me a rundown. So Car Medic, right? Yeah. So they are everywhere in the US? Yes, yeah, so we have branches all over locations, let's just say all over the US. Okay. Um, so if anybody out there is looking or interested in a new career or know somebody who's interested in it, um, again, we have locations all over the US. Okay. We are looking for guys all over the US, especially here in Boise. So there's anybody who is out there who's looking for something here in Boise, uh, you can go to carmedic.biz. There is a tab on it that says how to become a car medic. Click on yeah, there yeah. and there's a way to get in touch um, through uh, with me on there. Okay. Um, or there's there's um, videos on there that kind of describe on what we do, a description on how we do things, uh, how the company works and yeah. whatnot. And so just so people know, we are a ownership based company. This is not a company, you don't, you know, you're, there's yeah. no employees. You yeah. know? So when you come on, this is an ownership based company. You have ownership of it. Um, and it's something that, you know, uh, it's a very fulfilling job. And yeah. So, 
Very, very rewarding. But you, but this is like one of those things where you get what you put in. And so exactly. like, yeah, so I know you work long days and you're, go you're going out there, but you're obviously being uh, very rewarded for it. Yeah. And for anybody curious, like just as like a general, or let's just kind of generalized thing here, PDR for the most part isn't the cheapest thing to get done, right? And so if anybody was looking to get, let's just say they had one ding or they had one major dent, is cost always gonna vary by location or how does that work? Yes, yeah, so we charge based on, and there's a lot of variables, but it, you know, it, a lot has to do with access. Okay. And so if, it, if the dent is very easy to get to, then it's gonna be a standard price. But if okay. it's gonna be, you know, pulling door panels off like we talked about, yeah. pulling tail lights off, pulling dropping fender liners, pulling tires off, price goes up from there. And so gotcha. you can have the exact same dent on two different vehicles and the price okay. is totally different. So for the best way to get an estimate would probably be going to a specialist or going to a technician yes. and getting an upfront, like this is what it's gonna cost to get it done. Yes, um, and so we do a lot of stuff that body shops give us as well. Mm -hmm. And so some customers don't know that we do sh we do stuff that body shops uh, generally don't wanna do yeah. or turn down because they just don't have the manpower to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And so it is. we are a great alternative to body shops. And so feel free to give us a call. We have, we have no problem giving estimates. I know some people say, well, I don't know if you can do this. It doesn't hurt to call me. Can yeah, call? no, that's, well, that's what I did. I was like, estimates. I was like, hey, dude, I got this beater Civic. What can you, what can we do? <laughs> and you're like, you're like, well, shoot me a couple pictures. So yeah. I shot you some pictures. Like, I can't really see them. So yeah. let's meet in person. And so we met a few weeks ago and gave him a rundown of the car. And he was like, okay, I think this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to tackle it. Um, this is the price range. And I said, yep, that makes sense. That's what we can do to make, make this cleaner um, and still keep it budget friendly. But get the, rid of those eyesores, and that was the important thing for me. All right, so anybody looking to be a car medic, yes. so you can hit up Eric, head to the website. Uh, if you're interested in getting into the world of PDR, like, honestly, guys, I am interested in just learning how to do this, because after seeing him do this, I figured that's a skill that I would love to be able to know how to do. And he's like, hey, Anthony, do you want to come? Uh, do you want to come? Talk about well, I, I fortunately have this great job that you guys know I love. Um, but if I wasn't doing this, then seriously, that is a business to where you get to be surrounded by cars. Well, anyways, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for right now. I am going to follow up with some after shots here. Um, I'm actually working today, so I got to get back to work. So I will follow up some after shots later tonight when I'm back at the house and give a walk around of the car, showing you what was taken out and how much better it looks so you guys have a better idea. But I just wanted to give a out to Eric and say thank you man thank for you. doing this I'm super excited about it I'll put his links down below to car medic hopefully you guys enjoyed the cinematic styled footage and I uh, get to see kind of what goes into PDR sorry I couldn't show you everything but I think this should give you a general idea on how it's tackled and why it's safe and why it's uh, a lot better option than getting paint work done so anyways guys I'll catch you guys here in a bit all right guys so we're back home and it's been about a week since Eric finished the PDR on the car I had to get that exhaust video out first because I know how much you guys wanted to to see that. So let's go ahead and take a walk around and talk about what he did. So the passenger side over here is the good side. I call this <laughs> my two-faced car, which the good side and then the driver's side is the rougher side. So the passenger side didn't have a whole lot. In terms of dings and dents, it was really just this rear quarter panel here, and that's what we focused on. The door is in great shape. The fender is still in okay shape. It was just back here where there was a couple dings down below here and along this panel that really just messed with the overall look of the car and the body lines. Again, we weren't going for perfection. We were just trying to get it to look better and make it uh, a little bit flatter than it was before. So keep in mind, we were not going to make this a show car by any means. Now walking over to the driver's side of the car, this is the uh, bad side, right? This is the side that has the issue with the door here and the paint over here. But as far as this rear quarter, this rear quarter came out a lot better than it was. This was extremely rough and had a few major dings that really, really bothered me. So this one in particular here that was actually on this body line is a lot better better than what it was before and he took out a lot of these smaller dings and dents along this panel to make it look much flatter and as you can see just based off these gloss shots it looks so much better and you're not catching these little dents and dimples throughout the whole side of the car. Now don't get me wrong, I do feel crazy for getting PDR done on this car. I mean, hell, this thing was 1500 bucks and PDR can get kind of pricey. One thing I did not talk about was the price to get this done. Now, the reason why I didn't bring up the price earlier with Eric, mainly for the fact that it really does vary on location and by how skilled the person is doing it. But as a general assumption, I would say it would cost anywhere from 80 bucks to maybe upwards of 150 to 200 bucks per ding. 
However, you do get a discount with the more dings that are getting pulled out because that technician can spend a little bit longer in your car and it's kind of like a bulk discount, if you will. So I think generally to probably get this work done, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks to be able to take out a lot of the dings, dents, and different type of imperfections that this car had. Now to some people, that may seem really expensive, but you do have to compare that to how much a body shop would charge if you were to get the same exact thing done with having to pull those dents and then also repaint that panel or fill those dents with Bondo and then repaint it anyways. So this still is the cheaper option. Now again, I wanna give a huge shout out to Eric at Car Medic for doing the work on the car. He did an outstanding job and it really does look so much better. I know dents and dings may not matter to a lot of people, but it does add to the overall look and appearance of a clean car and that's what we're going for here and me being a little OCD, that's the stuff that bothered me most. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and perhaps learned something about PDR and what they can do and what they're capable of doing without jumping into paintwork or a body shop. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. You guys should subscribe down below for more civic content in the future and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.